What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about UK potatoes versus US potatoes. What is the difference? Here in America, we really like our potatoes, but I don't know what potatoes are like in the UK, what they taste like, what you do with them, and you know, the really important potato questions. <laughs> so, so today, I'm very curious to, to learn about these nine facts about UK versus US potato differences. So let's take a look. A potato is just a potato. Um, and that's where you're wrong. There's some pretty interesting oh. differences between how we eat them, oh. how we look at them, and various other things. So let's jump in. Who would have thought, you know? <laughs> I did. Who would have thought there's so many differences between potatoes in the UK and US? What? <laughs> I'm really curious. Number one. This is an easy one, but while potatoes are called potatoes in both countries, there okay. is a language difference here um, where this is called a jacket potato in the UK and it's- A jacket potato? What? Like a potato that's stuffed with like butter or sour cream with chives or bacon? I, wh what would we call this in, in America? Like a loaded potato or something? A jacket potato? Like- like the potato has become a jacket or, or, or <laughs> what's the reasoning behind this? It's actually called just a baked potato. A baked potato. Yeah. Baked potato or a loaded potato. Jacket potato. I've never heard of a jacket potato <laughs> before. Okay. I just keep imagining someone wearing a potato like a jacket when I hear that. <laughs> and the reasons for this seem simple enough. Americans call them baked potatoes because they're made by baking them yeah. in an oven. Yeah. I typically microwave mine because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah. uh, whereas the Brits tend to call them jacket potatoes, I think because it creates like a fun like jacket to keep the fillings in. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. The potato is like a jacket that you eat. That's kind of fun. Um, yes, we bake our potatoes. Do do people in the UK not bake the potato? What other way is there to cook a potato? You can boil potatoes. Do you boil potatoes? I don't know. Let's keep going. <laughs> I have not fact-checked that reason for why they're called jack potatoes, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> okay. Now, the second and third differences have to do with this way of eating potatoes, which leads us to number two, that Brits tend to think of a jack potato or a baked potato as a meal in and of itself, whereas in America, oh. people would really mostly have it as a side dish. Right. Oh, interesting. A, po a potato, a jacket potato, a baked potato is just the whole meal. You know, you can go to places in the United States and get like a real big potato, something we'd call like a loaded potato, which has all sorts of unhealthy crap all over it. It's great. And you know that you could have that for your entire meal, but typically, you know, a, a potato or, or a jacket potato, excuse me, um, in America, that, that would be like a side, like not, not the main meal. Uh, to be fair, that's probably more common that it's like a side. That's the main meal in the UK. That's interesting. If you go to many cafes across the UK, you can easily order a jack potato for lunch and that's your whole meal. You might have like a oh. side salad, but you could just have the jack potato. Huh. In the US, okay. they'd probably look at you kind of funny if <laughs> all you wanted to order was a baked potato. That is true. It, it would be strange, but, but I have come across places very rarely where like they specialize in potatoes. I think it's kind of a new thing, but Typically, yeah, you don't get a potato for your whole lunch. That 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 would be weird here. <laughs> they would. Now, this may say something about British versus American portion sizes and appetites, but actually yeah. I think it has more to do with the third difference, which is the fillings in jacket or baked potatoes. Oh. Common toppings for a baked potato in the US are kind of less substantial. They're things like butter, salt, sour cream, yeah. chives, maybe some bacon bits, maybe some grated cheese if you're feeling oh, crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You can 
go more intense and have more variations. But if we're talking about a standard American baked potato and yeah. what you might expect. I agree. I agree with this. That is like a standard American baked potato. Um, what are people in the UK putting in your jacket potatoes to make them so, so extreme? Your entire meal can be a jacket potato. What on earth are you putting in them? So people in the UK have a bigger variety of stuff that you put in your potatoes. How random. This, I never knew the potato differences could be so interesting. <laughs> We're not typically loading it with a ton of other things that you can actually bite into. Yeah. A jacket potato, on the other hand, um, can be served with just butter, but often you're adding more filling toppings. So you're adding things like oh. beans, cheese, oh. tuna, mayonnaise, oh. prawns, chili, whatever. Um, a lot Whoa. of emphasis is on the filling. Where I feel like in America, a lot of emphasis is just on the potato itself, which makes it more... Whoa. Potatoes are just taking taken a lot more seriously in the UK, I think. That's what I'm getting out of this. Potatoes are a lot more serious in the UK. Tuna? Beans? Of course, the beans, man. People in the UK seem to like beans on a whole different level. And maybe potatoes, too. This is fascinating. <laughs> Very different. Very different approach to the potatoes uh, in our two countries. Or of a side dish as opposed to a main meal. Moving on to our huh. fourth difference. Huh. One of the more popular ways of consuming potatoes in the U.S. is by eating loaded potato skins. Yeah. They look yeah. a little something yeah. like this. If you're Yeah, loaded potato skins. Yeah, you could have a loaded potato, baked potato, the, the potato skins. Um... It's not really just the skin. There's a, there's a bit of potato in there as well. But we call them potato skins, and they have bacon and cheese, and it's great. Again, this is not like a main meal. This is like an appetizer. This is a side. This is, this is not enough to, 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 to satisfy our American appetites. Oh, no, we need much more. If you're in the UK, you've probably seen these before. I often find them at American style restaurants like uh, TGI Fridays, huh. um, maybe in a frozen section somewhere, but I haven't found that they're eaten as often or have the same like cultural relevance. In oh, 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 I didn't even realize. So the potato skins, these aren't even really a thing in the UK. These are not popular. These are not part of the social cultural construct in the UK. Wow, how do you survive? Well, I guess it's a trade-off. We have loaded potato skins, and the UK has, like, much more robust, fancy, packed, uh, nutritious potato, jacket potatoes in general. So it's kind of like a trade-off. In the UK, as they do in the US. For instance, if you're British and watching this, in the US, they're kind of enjoyed as, like, a snack food yeah. at a party or gathering, kind of like you would, like, sausage rolls. Yeah. Or oh. they could be eaten as, um... An are, are sausage rolls, like, a snack party snack food in the UK? <laughs> sausage rolls are, like, our uh, potato skins. Okay, good analogy. An appetizer. What would you call an appetizer here? A starter. Oh, so you could oh, oh, is appetizer not a word in the UK? Appetizer, starter, yes. The, the loaded potato skins are like a starter here in the US. Yes, not, not like a main meal, yeah. You have them as a main meal, but typically it's like a snacky um, beginning of the meal type of food. Mm -hmm. Also, we didn't write this one down, so this is a bonus fun fact, but um, Americans also don't eat potato waffles. So most people in the UK will know what a potato waffle is. What? What? <laughs> what is that? Potato waffle? What? What is this? When do you eat this? Who invented this? Why is this coming out of nowhere? Potato waffles? They look good, actually. <laughs> that's, that's immediately where my mind goes. It's like, the shock is over. Now I just want to eat them. But they're like, almost like fries or crisps, but but more robust and shaped like waffles. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I like this. Liz, um, I was very confused when I <laughs> first moved to the UK um, at what a potato waffle was. It made yeah. sense now, but a waffle is something different than a potato waffle, and I couldn't wrap my head around whether... Yeah, yeah. They, these... Um... 
these don't exactly look like waffles. Exactly. They kind of look like waffles. Like, uh, in America, we have pancakes and waffles. These sort of look like waffles. Not exactly. It looks more like a, like a tic-tac-toe board or something, really. But anyway, let's keep going. A, a waffle is something different than a potato waffle, and I couldn't wrap my head around whether <laughs> this was, like, a waffle with potatoes on top or right. a waffle made out of potatoes. Turns out it's the second one, but Americans don't really uh, eat our potatoes in waffle style. We do like no. waffle fries, but that's different. Yeah, we have waffle fries. I was just thinking of that. Waffle crisps, w waffle fries. Or not crisps, uh, chips. Chips. I'm thinking of chips. We have waffle fries, which would be like waffle chips, not crisps. I'm getting crisps and chips mixed up. <laughs> All this, my brain is fried right now. <laughs> fried, like french fries. Okay, let's keep going. Or waffle fries. Or potato waffles. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> now, difference number five, potatoes, UK versus US edition, is all about roasted potatoes. Roast potatoes are an essential part of many British people's diets. Let's face it, they're made... Roasted potato? Roasted potato. What is a roasted potato, exactly? Is that like putting it in the oven? What's the difference between a baked potato and a roasted potato? I've never really heard of a roasted potato. Is that like really intensely cooking it? What, what is this? Amazing, you'd have them with like a Sunday roast or a Christmas meal or just like a random Tuesday night to go with whatever meat or vegetable you're okay. cooking. Now I'm not claiming that no American ever has ever had a roast potato. Let me be clear huh. before the Americans chime in and are like, I eat roasted potatoes every day. I, I don't know. I don't think roasted potatoes are really very popular in America. I don't think I've ever had one. I'm not, I'm not even exactly sure how you roast a potato. I'm not like much of a cook or anything or a chef, a roasted potato, okay. I am 100% certain though, you can quote me on this. <laughs> Roasting potatoes is not a common method of cooking potatoes in the US. Right. And many Americans have never had what a Brit refers to as a roasted potato. Right. I would know because I was one. Until I moved <laughs> to the UK, had never had a roast potato, and a lot of people that I studied with back in the day who were American also felt the same. What is a roasted potato? It sounds good. I don't even know what it is, but it's making me hungry. What is this? I want to eat this. Where's the roasted potato? Americans typically go for mashed potatoes or baked potatoes. And when you go out to restaurants yeah. in America, the chance that you would ever see roast potatoes on an American menu, it, it's really, really, really not common. Yeah. I've never seen it. Again, I'm sure it exists somewhere, um, but I personally, don't encounter that in my American day-to-day -day life when I'm- Okay, I, I gotta look this up. What is the difference between roasted and baked potatoes? Google is gonna save me here. Uh, the phrase baked potato refers to a whole potato being cooked in the oven with the intent of being cut open and stuffed. So baked potato sounds like a jacket potato. It's in the oven, you stuff it with stuff. Roasted potatoes, on the other hand, are cut into smaller pieces and cooked in the oven until they're perfectly crispy on the outside. Roasted potatoes. They're cut into smaller pieces. Then you cook it in the oven and then it becomes crispy. That sounds amazing. I, th I think at some point in my life, I've had roasted potatoes then. I just didn't know it. It's like small potatoes, but I don't feel like they were that crispy or anything. Roasted, but I got to try some roasted potatoes. That's what I need to do with my life. Oh my God. I'm there. I did look up the reason why Americans don't roast potatoes as much as Brits, and I could not find a specific explanation. Yeah. So we're just going to have to keep wondering. Leave yeah. your comments below. Why do you think it is? I don't know. Why is that? That sounds good. Like, we, we like small, like, little tiny potatoes or tater tots, but not really roasted potatoes. Sounds good. Bite-sized. You could eat a lot of them. Okay. Different countries eat different <laughs> foods different ways. Okay, okay, difference number six has to do with fried potatoes. 
In America, mm. basically any fried potato that is sliced is known as a fry. Yeah. We have skinny fries, we have thick cut fries, curl- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually we call these French fries and uh, people in the UK call them chips, right? I believe. Really fries, waffle fries, the list goes on because we have a lot of different types of fries, but fries is the term. Yeah. We don't say chips no. when we're referring to any sort of fried potato except for the very, 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 very thinly sliced kind which is a crisp to people in the UK. It exactly, exactly. We don't say chip unless we mean a potato chip. We actually have a, the, the term potato chip, which is also kind of confusing, but that's like in a bag, potato chips, like sour cream and onion flavored chips, which people in the UK call crisps. Yes, I think we've got it. In the UK, as most of you will know, because most of my audience is British, chips, in the UK are typically thick cut fried potatoes, as in fish and chips or pie and chips. Right. I do see in the UK okay. sometimes that fries is sometimes used specifically to refer to like a thinly sliced potato or they might call them like skinny fries. Oh, so in the UK, ch uh, chips are not exactly like our French fries. Chips are usually like thicker, bigger, thicker. Like I've heard of fish and chips lots of times. And the fries always do look like bigger. Whereas here in America, when we say a fry, that can mean a big old fat fry. That can mean tiny little thin shoestring fries. So there's a lot of, this really gets kind of deep. <laughs> the stuff we do with our potatoes uh, it, between the UK and US. I never even thought about it. <laughs> but to an American, there's not really another word for fries. So if yeah. you were in America using American terms referring to fish and chips, we would say fish and fries. But we mm -hmm. don't because we're not trying to start an argument. I'm just <laughs> telling you that we would call what a British person calls a chip, even if it's like a thick cut chip, we would call it a fry. Yeah, that's a good distinction. This, again, this gets a little complicated. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just me, but... A fry is a fry, no matter what the size. That could be a poem to remember this by. Oh! <laughs> it just keeps going. just keeps rhyming. Uh, oh my. <laughs> and uh, in the UK, there's a little more difference between the size of the uh, chip, or if it's a tiny little thin fry, or what have you. Next up, difference number seven. The potatoes that are easily found in each country and sold in the stores are usually different varieties. Oh! This might be- I was wondering about this. Are the actual, po the potato, like, species different between the UK and US? I was wondering about this. The obvious, different countries have different types of potatoes that are more commonly grown or imported. Uh -huh. But one fun fact, is that in America, the russet or Idaho potatoes are much more commonly found in the stores than in the UK. Oh. And this potato oh. is the same potato that McDonald's use for most of their fries. Number eight, while the- What, but what, what, what kind of potato is used in the UK? If we have russet or Idaho potatoes, what is used in the UK? She didn't even say. Oh, I wanted to know. UK climate and soil is ideal for growing potatoes. Because of oh. the landmass, the US actually outranks the UK in potato production, oh. as the US is fifth in the world compared to the UK's hey. 11th. Hey, um, hey, okay. The US is, we're doing something, Dad. We're doing something over here. <laughs> we're accomplishing things. We're growing the fifth most potatoes. Potatoes are grown in the U.S. <laughs> in a variety of states, not just one state, but the majority do come from Idaho and Washington. Uh -huh. In the U.K., um, the east of England and all of Scotland rank up there with dominating the potato growing process. Oh, wow. So don't click off. There's still more to come. I know this is <laughs> fascinating. The more you know. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> it's funny. How there is, is literally a whole video about potatoes, but it's, it's really interesting stuff. Now, let's finish off our deep dive onto the differences between potato culture in the UK versus US. There ah. um, is another thing I've noticed, and that has to do with potato packaging in the stores in both countries. So typically in okay. the US, when you buy potatoes at the store, you'll simply buy them in bags yeah. or 
It doesn't have to be in a bag. This isn't actually about how it's packaged, it's about how it's sold in the language, so... Um, they Usually, the potatoes are sitting in a pile at the grocery store, and you pick them up and you put them in a bag. Or they might already be in a bag, but it's, it's that simple, really. It can be sold in bags or individually in either country. But let's say you're buying it in a bag and it has language on the outside to tell you what kind of potato it is. In the US, okay. typically these bags will just be labeled with the actual type of potato it is. There's not much sure. help beyond that. You're kind of expected to know, you're expected to be a potato expert like I clearly am now and know what kind you want for your recipe. Right, right. Or if you're like me, you just don't care. You just go, you get a potato, and you just go home. And you you just don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not out here making very complicated recipes or anything. I didn't even really, th I've never really even thought about this. <laughs> In the UK, uh, you will find potatoes that are labeled with the just the type of potato, but you're often going to find some additional okay. information. Oh. like fluffy and crisp or oh. British baking potatoes or smooth and rich potatoes. That's nice. It gives you like a slight indication what to expect from your potato once it's cooked. Personally, I'm not that great of a cook, so I'm a... F this seems nice. This se This sounds like the packaging in the UK is just better. It's just strictly better, more informative. That's nice. Fan of this because I have no idea how like a Yukon gold differs <laughs> from a russet a russet potato. Yeah. Um, I just like my potatoes fried with ketchup. So it's like nice yeah. in the UK to have that yeah. that bit of extra help um, in our potato making process. <laughs> wow. There you go. And oh, okay, and there you have it. <laughs> All the potato knowledge you could ever want. Uh, who knew there were so many differences, actually, between potatoes in the U.S. versus the U.K.? Uh, differences in how we like to eat them, what kind we use, how they're packaged, uh, what we like to do with them. Uh, this was great. This was by Girl Gone London, and I gotta give this video a like, because that was, that was very informative. Again, I didn't expect it, I didn't expect the potato differences between our two cultures to be so vast and interesting, it actually sounds like uh, us Americans are missing out on some potato stuff that the UK is doing, especially this uh, roasted potato stuff. But the UK doesn't really have loaded potato skins that much, so we could both kind of benefit. <laughs> roasted potatoes. I, mean, I gotta remember that. Uh, anyway. I enjoyed this quite a bit. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on the potatoes and the differences in potatoes today that were very interesting. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to the UK and UK culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.